everyone, this is Geraldine Squadrito back again sharing informative videos to you regarding uh, Australia visa application. In this particular video, I will show to you the step-by-step -step process of the Australia tourist visa subclass 600 application that I did for my mother who is uh, 69 years old now. Um, she's actually 68 years old when I um, lodged her application. So my husband and I uh, sponsored her to come and visit us here in Australia. Actually, she will be accompanied by my eldest niece who is uh, 14 years old right now, but she was four, uh, 13 years old when I also lodged her uh, visa application. So I did the online application for the two of them through my own IMI account. I applied to separate uh, tourist visa for my mother and my niece because hers, uh, my niece is different, especially because she is underage. So I am going to show you exactly how I did it and uh, all the requirements that I submitted for them. So I also have a separate video or tutorial video for my niece uh, visa application yet yeah, because um, like what I mentioned, she is underage. Let's focus on my mother's visa application first. You can DIY or do it yourself your visa application, but in case you don't know how to do it, then who can help you with your visa application? Only certain people can help you with your visa application. This is immigration assistance. What is immigration assistance? Immigration assistance is when a person uses knowledge of or experience in migration procedure to assist with visa application or other visa matters. If you appoint someone to give you immigration assistance, they must be a registered migration agent, a legal practitioner, or an exempt person. I am not a registered migration agent, not a legal practitioner, but I fall in the category of the exempt person. person. What is an exempt person? An exempt person is someone who is not a registered migration agent or a legal practitioner and is one of the following. Your nominator or sponsor, your close family member, a parliamentarian, a member of a, of a diplomatic mission, a member of a consular post, a member of an international organization. Remember, a person who is not a registered migration agent or a legal practitioner must not charge, must not charge you a fee of their help. It is unlawful to charge a fee if you are an exempt person. To appoint an exempt person to give you immigration assistance, first, they have to complete Form 956 Appointment of a Registered Migration Agent, Legal Practitioner, or Exempt Person. And number two, sign the completed form. After that, include the form with your visa application. So that's exactly what I did. I filled out a form 956 and then I scanned and sent it to my mother in the Philippines and uh, for her signature. And then after that, they scanned, it, they scanned the signature um, form and uh, sent it back to me. And um, uh, thank God because uh, the immigration accepted it that way. When you appoint an exempt person to give you immigration assistance, the immigration department will discuss your application with them if necessary, seek further information from them about your application if necessary. Your exempt person can also be your authorized recipient and receive documents on your behalf. You can nominate them on Form 956. When you appoint your exempt person as your authorized recipient, the Immigration Department will send any written communication about your application to them, 
deem written communication sent to them as being received by you. Now going back to our Australia Tourist Visa Sub Plus 600 application tutorial, here are the steps that you need to take to apply online for an Australia Visa. Australia Visa Online Application Steps Number 1. Create an online account or any account. Select the visa type. Fill in the Australian visa form. Attach the required documents. Pay the application fee. And number 6. Submit the application. Here are the full explanation and the step-by-step -step process of Australia Visa application. Number 1. Create an online account or IMI account. The first thing you need to do if you want to apply for an Australian visa is open an individual online account at the official website of the Australian Department of Home Affairs. That is if you don't have an IMI account yet. You can open the account free of charge. All you have to do is put in your personal information, set up a password, and confirm your account via email. Once you have created an IMI account, you can use it to apply for a visa and or citizenship, attach documents to your application, track your application's progress, and manage certain details online. Remember, you must have an IMI account in order to log in. If you have not created an IMI account, refer to my blog number 35, How to Create IMI Account, step by step. This guide explains the steps for logging into your IMI account. From the www.border.gov.au homepage, scroll down and select Immigration and Citizenship. Click the IMI account link. The IMI account login page displays. Enter your username. Enter your password. Click login. The login successful page displays. Scroll down and click continue. You have successfully logged into your IMI account. Welcome to your IMI account dashboard. On your My Applications tab, click New Applications to start the application for an Australian visa. Step number two, select the visa type. There are several Australian visa types you can choose from. This will mostly vary on the reason for your visit. You can apply for a tourist visa, a student visa, a work visa, and many more. Under My Application tab, select New Application. Select the visa type. In this example, I've selected Visitor Visa 600 or also known as Tourist Visa Subclass 600. Step 3. Fill in the Australian visa form. For each type of visa, there is a different application form. Once you select the visa types, you can continue with filling in the form. In the form, you have to put down your personal information like name, birth date, marriage status, the reason why you want to go to Australia, how long you plan on staying, and so on. If you are applying with family members, friends, every individual needs to have their own separate application form. After selecting the visa type, you will be directed to start the application for a visitor short stay visa by filling out the Australia visa form with all the necessary information needed up to page 19. The first page is the terms and conditions and privacy statements. Tick the checkbox for I have read and agree to the terms and conditions after you have read it. Then select next. Current location. Is the applicant currently outside Australia? Select Yes. Then select Next. Fill in the visa applicant's current location and legal status. Purpose of stay. Select the stream the applicant is applying for. I selected Tourist Stream, Tourism, Visit Family or Friends. Note, once the application has been lodged, the stream cannot be changed. 
For more information on stream, click on the help icon above. List all reasons for visiting Australia. Select from the list of reasons given. Just click the plus button to add more item. You can also give details of any significant dates on which the applicant needs to be in Australia. Group processing. Some applicants may be traveling as part of a group such as family members, friends or colleagues, or may wish to have their applications processed together. To link this application with others in the same group, a new group can be created or existing group details can be entered. The first member of the group to lodge their application should create the group. All other members of the group should enter those group details in their application form. By electing to be part of group processing of the nominated group, the applicants acknowledges that the department will take the applicant's request to be processed with other applications into account when considering the application. Each application is considered on its merits. The applicant may not be eligible to receive information about any other applications included in the group. Is this application being lodged as part of a group of applications? I selected yes. Then select group. Provide the group details. Has the group already been created? I selected no. Enter the group name to create a new group. Enter your preferred group name and group select from the group type. In my case, I selected group processing because I am going to apply for two tourist visa application. I would like their applications to be processed together. You now have your group ID, group type, and group name. You will need this information to, to enter on the visa application of the person included in this group. Under special category of entry, I just tick no and select next. Enter the applicant's passport details. It is strongly recommended that the passport be valid for at least six months. Previous travel to Australia. Has this applicant previously traveled to Australia? Our answer is no. Has this applicant previously applied for a visa to Australia? Again, our answer is no. But if your answer is yes, you have to provide your visa grant number. Other identity documents. Does this applicant have other identity documents? If your answer is yes, you have to provide the details of your other identity documents. This includes any document which was issued by a government for the purpose of identification, such as alien registration number, birth certificate, driver's license, marriage certificate, national identity document, or social security card. This part is important. You have to carefully check all the information you provided. All information provided is important to the processing of your application. If the information included on this page is incorrect, it may lead to denial of permission to board an aircraft to Australia, even if a visa has been granted. Confirm that the following information is correct and that it is in the correct fields. Click Yes. After that, click Next. Next to these are the questions regarding traveling companions the applicant might have. In our case, my mother is traveling with my niece so I selected yes. Just continue answering the rest of the application form. Supply your complete residential address, information about your immediate family members who will not be traveling with the applicants, your period of stay, contacts in Australia if there are, and then some health and character declarations to answer. Remember, if you missed filling out a certain field, an error message will appear showing you what details you have missed filling out. Step 4. Attach the required documents. The required documents for an Australian visa are different according to your visa type, but the general requirements include passport, identity pictures, travel insurance, financial statements, 
etc. Make sure your documents are scanned colored copies. You are allowed to upload maximum of 60 attachments or documents. On the attachment page, you will see categories of the document and you can upload accordingly. Travel document. Provide evidence of your travel document. This may include a certified copy of the personal, particulars, photo, or the biodata page of your passport. This is the page of the passports which shows the name and date of birth, passport number, issue and expiry date, and photograph of the holder. Photograph or your passport size ID. Provide a recent passport photograph. Print the name of the person on the back of the photograph. Evidence of the financial status and funding for visit. Provide certified evidence of your ability to support yourself financially while in Australia. This may include your own financial documents and the documents from others who will be supporting your stay in Australia. Bank statements and pay slips demonstrating a consistent savings history and or regular income over time. For example, the applicant can attach bank statements or payslip covering 3-month period. You should also provide evidence of your own financial status even if a friend or a relative is funding your trip. So in our case, my mother doesn't have her own bank account or any other financial evidence to support her travel. We only provided our financial status to prove that we can fund her trip and stay here in Australia. Evidence of planned tourism activities in Australia. Provide evidence of your planned tourism activities in Australia. This may include details of holiday or recreation plans, visit to, your, to family and friends, short courses you intend on taking. Visitor visas allow study for up to three months only. This part is also known as the itinerary for your trip to Australia. Provide this form only if you appointed someone to do your visa application or to be your authorized recipient. Invitation from family, friends, or organization. Provide evidence of your invitation to Australia. This may include an invitation to attend an event, visit relatives or friends, provide assistance to an organization or person in a specific area. Step number five, pay the application fee. The visa fees for Australia change depending on the visa. However, you have to pay the application fee before you submit your application. Otherwise, your application won't be processed. So currently, the Australia Tourist Visa Subclass 600 application fee is $150 Australian dollars. The online application allows you to pay the fee through various means. You can pay either with a credit card, debit card, or PayPal. The last and final step, step 6, submit the application. Once you complete these steps, you can go ahead and submit your application. The IMI account allows you to go back and contact the Australian authorities if something has changed. For example, if your address has changed, you can let the Department of Foreign Affairs know through the account. You can track the visa you application can track process, the visa through, application through, the process through the and account. While the processing and while the processing times varies, varies, as each application is different, different, application is different if there are no issues, there are you, no may issues a visa you may receive a visa as soon as within a few days. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more informational videos about Australian visa, migration, places, and lifestyle. Thank you. Good luck on your visa application.